Hi, I'm Margaret Lewin of Miss Marker's Quilts, and today I want to show you how I go about piecing the backs of my quilts. Lots of times people like to use a coordinating fabric on the backing, and because the fabrics are only 42 to 44 inches wide, obviously they aren't wide enough. So you have to go about piecing the back. One of the instructions on my website for um, the backing is I ask that the salvages be removed. And a lot of time people think I need all of the salvages removed, and it's not all of them. It's just the salvages where the backing is pieced. And the reason for that is because a salvage will definitely shrink different, and sometimes it even puckers up, than other backing material. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to piece your backing where you can get it nice and straight and um, at the same time be able to easily get rid of your salvage. So what I've got here to start with is some really cute Scotty material, just real cute little dogs. And I have cut it in half already so I know I've got the right dimensions that I need for the quilt. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line up my salvages here. Now, if for some reason this had a really obvious um, print or it was a directional print, I would have had to have calculated extra material to be able to match it up. But you can see, and I'll test it for you, this is a pretty um, even um, backing. It's a it's a nice pattern and I think it's going to mesh together really nicely without having to um, match up the Scotties going down the um, backing. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take this material over to my sewing machine and I am going to sew it together um, lining up the two salvages and I'm going to sew between an inch and an inch and a quarter seam allowance. And I know that sounds very drastic, but um, bear with me until I get back and I'll show you the reason why I've done this. So I'll be back in just a few minutes with my two pieces of material sewn together, okay? At this point I have sewn, and, and I know you can't see the thread and I'm sorry about that, but I have sewn a little bit over an inch all the way down and have gotten my two salvage seams together. So now I'm going to change the angle of the camera so that you can see what it is that I'm going to do. So now I'm going to take my fabric and I am going to fold it in half matching my salvages. Okay, then I'm going to fold it in half one more time. So I've got quite a few layers going here, but um, I'm looking down in to make sure that I've got my seam, that I've sewn it together, all nice and matched up. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to lay it on my cutting board. Um, if I didn't tell you, I have sewn it and I set the seam, so it's been pressed at this point. I'm going to line it up good, and, and you can actually feel the seam and you can see it. So I've done that. What I'm doing at this point is I'm going to take my Creative Grids ruler and I'm going to line it up right on the um, stitch line because my stitch line is um, my measurement for where I need to trim it. So I'm going to line it up. I'm going to flip it over. And what I'm lining up is my half inch mark on my ruler to make sure that it's right there, and it is. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my rotary cutter and I'm going to cut that piece off. And here is all of my salvage. It's all gone. And I have more than enough of a seam. Now I could have taken it all the way down to a quarter, but um, I sometimes I like a little bit extra there just so that the long arm has more stitching room. 
So my last step of what I'm going to do on this is I'm going to take this over to the ironing board and I'm going to press it to one side. I'm not going to press it open. I'm going to press it to one side. Once I've done that, I'll be back and show you what it looks like. I am back. And what I've done, you can see, I'll open it up. You can see I have pressed the seam to one side. It's all pressed. And if you turn it over on this side, you can see it's all put together. And now this is ready for the long arm. Uh, the salvage has been removed. So when the customer goes to wash their quilt, there won't be any issues with weird puckering because of the salvage. And I actually still have, I'll show this side because you can see the salvage better. I actually still have salvage, which is a nice straight edge to attach it to the long arm. So nice, quick, easy way to piece your backings together. Cause I know people really, by the time they get to that point, they don't want to do the backing. They just want the quote done. So that's my little short tip for today. Um, I, my sewing room got recently a little overwhelming to say the least. I couldn't seem to find a place to cut or a place to sew. So I have spent the last couple of days trying to get it a little bit more under control. I recently um, saw Joan Ford talk and I listened to her talk at a quilt shop and grabbed her book, um, cut the scraps and have been reading it. And uh, she's got some really great tips in here for organizing. So my next video is I'm gonna be showing you what I'm doing to get those scraps a little bit under control so that I can find my sewing room to do the things that I love to do. So thank you so much for joining and joining me and thank you for subscribing. Um, if you like what I've done, please hit the like button, the thumbs up, and please tell your friends about me. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.